Your healthcare team understands that preparing for dialysis is very difficult. Regardless of how long a patient have known about their kidney problem, most patients express shock, disbelief, when their healthcare team recommends that they start preparing for dialysis. I was um, perfectly healthy and working in a career and, and uh, one day I got the flu and uh, the flu just didn't seem to go away. The fact was I was going to take medication and I was going to get well. And when that wasn't happening and you just get progressively sicker and sicker and sicker and feeling unwell all the time and unable to do simple things like cook a meal or enjoy your family. Oh, I wasn't going on dialysis. No, that, that couldn't possibly happen to me. I was fine, I was well. How could I possibly go from that to being on dialysis, which really I thought was sort of the end. Physically, I didn't feel that much different. I, it was him that told me that my creatinine was up to 900 and 500 was more or less the limit. And the next thing I knew, I was in the hospital getting a catheter put in my chest to, for uh, hemo. The f initial shock really sets you back and you say, oh, God, I don't want to do this. So uh, the doctor suddenly told me my uh, creatinine is really high. So he said that uh, you have to go back to Canada to do the dialysis. So when the doctor told me I have to do the treatment three times a week, I said, oh, this is really in trouble because um, my job have to be travel. So and then I say, the first thing I, you, the doctor told me you have to change your lifestyle. So like you have not travel anymore, at least not that often. And also you have to commit like at least four hours, three times a week to do the treatment. This is really worried about. When my doctor told me that, you know, you do have to go, on, you may have to go on dialysis. That's because when my kidney has um, lost its function to about 15%, and that's when you meet the wall. <laughs> and then you went through a grieving phase in which you, um, start to realize that this is for real and you have to do something about it, right? And then you went through the, um, what I call it, the embracement phase. Um, so after grieving, you have to sort of find your way out of it. So you start, I started to embrace my sickness and saying, no, okay, I have to look for um, the positive side of it. So I would be worried about, you know, is my wife going to have a husband in a couple of years, right? And, and, you know, and that's when I was in the negative mindset and thinking of the worst things that could happen. I'm a family man. I have two kids and a, and a wife. So I didn't know what I need to do. I didn't know if, you know, I was going to be around much longer because it came as such a shock that I didn't know what needed to be done after that point in time. I mean, my whole life I was diabetic at seven, but I was always an active kid. Um, you know, always try to keep my body as healthy as possible because uh, I love sports and next thing I'm hearing that I'm going to be on dialysis and um, so I, did, I had denial at first and then you know confusion you know I was angry um, and you know worried. At the beginning uh, more than angry frightened depressed you know but uh, after I started it everything fell into place. When I started in hemodialysis, I was terrified, totally terrified, and nobody could tell me anything. Now, I'm more used to what's going on, and if I can help one person just to get over that hump, I'm happy.